this is Pete with Horizon Product Support here again. Uh, this time we have the E-Flight Convergence with us. Uh, we wanted to give you guys another brief tutorial, show you guys initial setup, uh, some transmitter programming, and how to bind to the aircraft for the first time. So a couple things that we suggest uh, when we first setting up the aircraft, when we pull it out, take the props off. Uh, we want to take the teeth away from these guys when we're first setting it up. So if we accidentally spin up the motors or anything like that, everyone's safe and we just have a, a small spinning shaft and set up a propeller on it. Uh, other than that, uh, before we do anything with the aircraft, before we power it on, we want to do some transmitter programming. Uh, so we'll walk you through how to create a fresh model memory for the convergence and what necessary programming you will need uh, for success. So we'll go ahead and go through that now. All right, so we have our Spectrum 6 channel or higher compatible transmitter here. Uh, so the first thing that we want to do is create a new model memory. Uh, you can push in the scroll wheel and browse to model select. Uh, an easy uh, way to get straight to model select is pressing uh, both the clear and back buttons at the same time just like that and uh, then we want to add a new model. So we just scroll once to the right, select add new model. Uh, once we select create, we have created a new model. You can see that in our screen so there's our new model that we've just created. Uh, we only need to do uh, one other thing here. We need to go into channel assign and then we need to uh, assign a couple of switches in the channel input config menu. Uh, so we would jump past our export assignments, go to the next page and find channel assign. Uh, channel 5 gear should already be set for A and uh, auxiliary 1 we will set for H. So you can scroll to it uh, if you want to or you can actually physically actuate the switch while the box is flashing around it and it will automatically change it to that for you. Once you save that uh, you can you know change the main name obviously you would want to call it a convergence and if you wanted to change the picture of it you can jump into the next page in aircraft type and change the picture to whatever you may like. Uh, so once that's done uh, you'll have your new model memory ready and you'll be able to bind to your aircraft. There we go. So we just applied power to it. Uh, so the system is just going to hang out here for a second. Then after about five seconds, our auto bind receiver is going to go into bind mode. And you'll see that by the rapidly flashing light you see right here. Our, uh, our two nacelles come up and our uh, aircraft is ready to bind to. So we'll go ahead and do that now. You usually step about six to eight feet away from the aircraft and then power the transmitter on while holding the bind button. You'll see the light go out, click a couple times, and then go solid. And that's the bind process complete. All you have to do after that is power cycle the aircraft. So we'll go ahead and do that now. All right, so the last and most important step of the binding process is gonna be to power cycle the aircraft. Uh, basically all that means is turn the aircraft off and turn it back on. So we'll unplug the power. Uh, we can leave the transmitter uh, powered on for this uh, portion and we just apply power to the aircraft again. And that allows the flight controller to connect and communicate with the freshly bound receiver. Uh, once that process, uh, once it's done initializing, then itself will come up and the aircraft is ready to fly. You have control over it. Uh, so uh, at this point, uh, you can test your transitions. So you're, uh, we're in multi-rotor mode now. We can test uh, our transition into forward flight. Uh, it takes a few moments for that transition. And then once the uh, nacelles are all the way forward, you're in forward flight mode. And uh, yeah, you can set the control that way. Uh, H switch back into the one position, puts you back into multi-rotor mode. Um, and then on the A switch is gonna be your two different flight modes. Uh, one of them is going to be your safe equipped bank angle limitation mode and then your second mode is full acro where you have no bank angle limitation and you can do loops, barrel rolls and all your acrobatics. Uh, always be aware that when transitioning into these two different flight modes, if you have some input on the stick and you transition into acro mode, uh, you know, the aircraft becomes very agile and it will, you know, potentially do a loop or a roll if you have stick input during that transition. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're doing this at home, put the props back on it, uh, power it back up, go out and fly and have a blast.